Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a complex uh, absolute value, how to graph complex absolute values, especially when you're adding them. Okay, so this is the function that I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to graph. So let me draw my axes. Uh, okay. Now the idea is that you initially at least you draw, draw these individual bits. Okay, so separately I'm going to draw them, draw them out. Okay, so first of all, y is equal to x plus 1. So drawing y equals x plus 1, it's... So I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring the fact that I'm drawing the absolute value. So if, if I was just drawing y equals x plus 1, this is what, what it would look like, right? The reason I'm drawing the dash line is because that's the part that's not going to appear in an absolute value graph. So anything that's negative gets re reflected up. So it gets reflected to be a positive. So whatever's the value over here is going to become a positive value. So this is what our, our final graph will look like. But this is, remember, just for y equals absolute value of 1 plus x. Now I'm going to concentrate on this part. y is equal to 2x minus 3. So my intercept is minus 3 my gradient is 2 so it'll be it'll be slightly steeper right so that point over there is uh, like 1.5 right so this is what my graph will look like something like this so again this part is going to get reflected above so remember this was minus 3 over here that point over there is going to be 3 okay? and that point over there was 1 Okay, but anyway, that's my graph is getting a bit too messy, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, now, now we're going to now what I'm going to do is concentrate on three regions. So the first region is everything to the right of this place, everything in between, uh, between so what was this uh, minus one and one point five? That's supposed to be one point five and then everything to the left of minus one okay so those three those are my three regions so anyway if i get rid of the green bits okay so in this in this region well, what's happening is that we have these two lines adding up so this line and this line so once you add them up what's going to happen is that it's going to get steeper right so it's going to get steeper so um, it's the gradient is going to be 3x so x plus 2x the gradient will be 3 the question is where do I start off from and that's a that's a really easy to answer so over here I have 0 and over here I have some value right the, and that value is exactly what's on this uh, y equals x plus 1 line so I start from there and then draw a straight line which has gradient of 3 all right so it'll turn out to be uh, more uh, more steeper than both of these lines okay so I'll, I'll draw okay so that's what I got I'm going to I'm going to not concentrate on that for now but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, worry about what's happening on the left so again again what we're going to have is another straight line this time the gradient being minus 3 and it's going up so whatever's on the on when I extend this line it's supposed to be okay that was the bad line let me, let me start again so when I extend this so at, at this point at this point right when I'm intersecting with the absolute value of 2x minus 3 that's the point over there at uh, x equals minus 1 and from here from here I'm going to have a, a steep line which has created y equals minus 3. Okay, so now my graph is getting really messy, so let me get some space. Okay, let me draw this out quickly again. Okay, so initially I had uh, 2x minus 3, so so this is my y absolute value 2x minus 3. And then the other one was uh, something that wasn't as steep. y equals absolute value of x plus 1 
okay uh, that's not meant to be parallel this is meant to be steeper but anyway I hope you get the idea so from here we have a steeper line from here again I have a, another steeper line so both of them so this one the gradient is minus 3 this one over here the gradient is 3 right and then these two points is simple matter of joining up all right so that there you go so that that's your that's your entire graph so I'm just drawing in another color that's your that's what your graph is supposed to look like so I have at, at that point whatever whatever the value of the x plus 1 is and then you go up and at this point it's the value of 2x minus 3 and you go up so if, if I when you're doing this in exam you should find exactly what your values are so uh, when so remember this is y equals x plus 1 absolutely x plus 1 when x is equal to 1.5 this value is going to be 2.5 right so that point over there is 1.5 comma 2.5 and when we're at this point remember x was equal to minus 1 we sub it into here so I have minus 2 minus 3 which I get minus 5 so that point over there is minus 1 minus 5 the reason the other reason that I, sh I showed you this was to show show you that these two points this 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 thing is actually at a slant right so if you, if you look at if you look at the y values it's minus 5 over here and 2.5 over here so it's um, Oh, sorry this should be minus 5 that's supposed to be positive 5 I forgot to take the absolute value right yeah that was a big mistake on my my side so it's slanting down all right yeah so yeah there you go that, that's how you draw complex um, well complex in the sense that you're adding two absolute values graphs uh, if you have any questions uh, leave any comments give me any feedback uh, and thanks for watching